And then you would basically have your own Elon coin. What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be reacting to some crazy news that's happening in the crypto world right now. Let's see what's going on. My opinion is that with the currency of this oh. world should be the dollar. I think they should regulate them very, very high. And you know, what happens is you really lose something that takes the edge off of the dollar and the importance of the dollar. Okay, this is hilarious. You know, I think if Trump would have gotten a lot earlier, he probably would have been having a different tone. Probably he's still looking to run for another presidency and therefore he kind of has to say that he wants the US dollar to win because if the US dollar collapses, so does the power of the United States entirely. Someone who's political and looking to regain his political control would have to say something like that. He would probably be in a lot of hot water and be questioned about it. Any type of political campaign where he's looking to get reelected or something like that or governor or whatever. Just because someone doesn't like something doesn't mean it shouldn't be done. And I think that Trump's business is real estate. He's not the brightest when it comes down to economics and certainly doesn't understand how much value could be introduced if the United States was more favorable to Bitcoin adoption, making it much more easy for people to freely innovate within the borders of the states, just like we're seeing from other countries right now. Nobody can stop Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So it's going to happen no matter what. If you resist, you're gonna fall behind. So the more often a support gets tested, the weaker it becomes. And here actually we had the support being tested over and over again. Now the question is, is this breakdown going to continue? Okay, let me preface this by saying, first of all, I love Chris, we're good friends, MM Crypto, but anyone who knows me, including Chris and Carl and everybody like that, knows that I'm not personally a fan of technical analysis. And the reason why is because I still think and it's been proven time and time again that our markets are still too small and immature and too easy to manipulate from whales. So we could see one massive whale who wants to fool some charts or manipulate the markets and create some FUD like we've been seeing that could cause this kind of reaction for Bitcoin to break below whatever this resistance level that Chris is talking about. So I think that it's really important for us to take a macro perspective and look at what's going on in the world and look at all the adoption that's going on right now from countries like Paraguay, and El Salvador who are probably going to end up using Bitcoin as a legitimate currency in their country. That is a massive news. Plus, I think next week we have something like 100 banks in the United States are going to roll out their cryptocurrency services and this would open up an easier way for people to buy crypto and Bitcoin to the masses. And so I think from a fundamental perspective, a macro perspective, this is just manipulation looking to shake out weak hands and I'm still bullish that we're going to hit something like at least 100,000 by the end of the year. What do you make of him and Dogecoin? I mean, do, do you... He's calculated. I, I used to think that the Dogecoin thing was a game. It's not a game. And the reason being is he's figured out pretty quickly that anything can now have value in this world, right? If a bunch of people think it's got value and these cryptocurrencies have all these attributes of be able to exchange things, buy things with them, store things. So he figures out how funny is that? You take the worst ever coin, which is a joke. You then start adopting it and then buy a bunch of it. And then you would basically have your own Elon coin. He could raise capital because of it. So I think he's figured out pretty quick that if you have your own currency, you can be king. This is exactly what I said in a previous video. I said that I think Elon is manipulating Dogecoin to fund the Mars mission, basically SpaceX. And a bunch of people said, no, that's ridiculous. He would never do that, blah, blah, blah. He's already rich, why would he do that? Well, he would do that because he realized how influential he is and he could push the market cap of a project up to like 80 million or 70, 60, 50 million, whatever Dogecoin was. And if he came in at a $500 million market cap or something, and he saw that, hey, let me go put in a bunch of money and then pump the hell out of this and sell a bunch of the top, people think that, well, that's ridiculous. Elon's super rich, but Elon has his personal money and then money to build things as well. Additionally, he probably would like to alleviate some of the funding and control that NASA puts on him because they put a bunch of restrictions on what SpaceX can do. And I think that Elon would love to have all the control over everything he does rather than having to answer to a board, investors, things like that. Elon could have made billions and billions and billions of dollars in just a matter of months, manipulating the price of things like Dogecoin and cum rockets. <laughs> Greetings, citizens of the world. This is a message from Anonymous for Elon Musk. Recently, your carefully created public image is being exposed, and people are beginning to see you as nothing more than another narcissistic rich dude who is desperate for attention. This has been obvious to your employees for a long time, 
who have faced intolerable conditions under your command for years. Well, first of all, Elon, be careful because Anonymous has got some big power, some cre incredible hackers. You never know if on your next moon mission, they hack into your uh, your server and you know, send, the, send the ship off course. Do not mess with Anonymous. Early Bitcoin days when I got involved, Anonymous was very prominent, very powerful. And this is the first video I think that they have released in like six months. So they're pissed. And this is what everyone has been saying on crypto Twitter was basically that Elon's being incredibly irresponsible and he is and probably is one of the major reasons that we're in the state of the market that we are in right now. And what Anonymous is saying here is basically there's a lot of damage being done and there is. I mean, every time that he makes a stupid tweet, the market tanks. So can you blame Elon? Well, he's doing what he has to do. He has a legal fiduciary responsibility to the Tesla shareholders to do what he's been doing. However, unfortunately, in doing so, you know, he's getting wrecked because of his irresponsible tweets. It's a tough one. So El Salvador recently announced its plans to implement Bitcoin as a legal tender or legal currency within the country. We all saw this coming. Always wondered who was gonna be the first one to do it because nobody wants to be the first, but everybody wants to be the second. And so we had El Salvador who announced this and quickly Paraguay came up and said, hey, me too. And that's the same thing that we happened with institutions in Bitcoin. We saw Michael Saylor come in and then everyone else said, me too. This is a big deal. And maybe not because El Salvador or Paraguay are gonna have a massive demand, but they will have a massive demand because the countries are announcing it. They're of course going to have, if not already, massive reserves of Bitcoin in their treasury because they see the potential of it. I don't remember if it was Paraguay or El Salvador, but I know that they're talking about no capital gains tax as well. So they're incentivizing people to go to the country, have cryptocurrency, make it a, more of a safe haven. And I think this is mostly a huge deal because it's the first mover, the first person to break the mold, and we will probably see at least another 20 countries over the next year that will also follow suit with this. And that is a huge deal collectively when all of these countries start holding Bitcoin in their reserve, because of course, they're not gonna make it a legal tender without owning a ton of it. So these small countries that adopt this policy will also likely become some of the richest countries in the world within the next 10 years or so. What do you think about reaction videos like this? Would you like to see me do more, you know, taking breaks, explaining to you what I think of each thing that's being said? Because I'll tell you what, I watch a lot of videos and I have a lot of thoughts on people are talking about them, you know, from someone who's been in the space for a long time, kind of how I feel about what other people are telling you. Let me know in the comments below which crypto YouTubers you'd like me to react to. Make sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one.